phonics, phonics time, phonics time today. Grab yourselves a comfy seat, listen to what I say. Phonics, phonics time, phonics time today. Grab yourselves a comfy seat, listen to what I say. Good morning everybody, good morning from our monster boxes and good morning from me Miss Chambers. Nice to see you all, hope you're all okay today. So yesterday and the day before we were looking at sound and today we're going to be looking at a different sound. We're going to learn how to read with this sound and then tomorrow we're going to learn how to write with this sound. Now I'm giving you a clue using my sound hat about what this sound might be. So have a good look at my sound. See if you can tell somebody at home. What is this sound? We've done it before at school, so everybody should know. This is just revision of sounds that we've known. What is this sound? It's got two letters. It's got a great big sound button underneath. That means it must be a diagraph. What sound do you think it might be? I'll give you another clue. You can push the buttons on these letters and say them really quickly and it will give you the sound. That's right, the sound is ng, 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 ng. That's the sound that we're going to be doing today. Okay, so by now you should have done a blending and segmenting game, your speed sounds and your tricky words. And we're ready to start if you've done all those things. Okay, so let's start by telling a story about our sound. This story today is not about Oliver, this story is about Miss Chambers. So let me just move this down a little bit so you can see my board. Now Miss Chambers does not go to the gym very often. She's rubbish at going to the gym. And one night I had a dream. I had a dream that I did go to the gym. And this is what I look like. Here's Miss Chambers. I'm going to do my mouth like this and you'll see why in a second with my teeth. Here's my hair. And then my, each of my arms had a great big muscle. And I was holding two big weights. I was picking up those weights and my muscles, and my, my muscles were actually quite big. They were bigger than that, actually. And my muscles were massive and I was picking up those weights and I, because they were so heavy, my mouth went like this and I had to say this sound. I said, ng. What did I say? Ng. What did I say? Ng. That's right, when Miss Chambers in her dream had great big muscles and she picked up the weights and they were really, really heavy, she picked them up, she held them high and she said, Ng. What did I say? Ng. Fantastic, well done. Have a look at my mouth when we say that so that you can see what I do with my tongue. Ng. Can you see my tongue? You can just see my teeth. Ng. 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 Can you have a go at that? Fantastic. Well done, everybody. So if you go onto the Jolly Phonics website, there is a song for Ng, and it goes like this. You can see if you can join in with me. If you're strong and you know it, say Ng. If you're strong and you know it, say ng. If you're strong and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're strong and you know it, say ng. Can you have a go with me now? Get your muscles ready. Pretend you're in the gym with your weights too. Ready? If you're strong and you know it, say ng. If you're strong and you know it, say ng. If you're strong and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're strong and you know it, say ng. 
Well done. What's our new sound, everybody? Mmm. That's right. Good job. Okay, let's look at reading some words with mmm. Now, mmm is a sound that always comes at the end of a word. Not at the beginning of a word, an end of a word. So, we don't really ever have it with a capital letter. It will always be a lowercase letter with a mmm and g together. Great big sound button here. We don't say ng, we just say it together really quickly, ng. So let's have a look at a word with that. Let's put the sound buttons on. Okay, read it with me. What's our first sound here? P, I, ng. P, I, ng. Ping. That's right, that word is ping. Your turn, everybody. Ping. Brilliant. Okay, let's add another word to that. Okay, let's have a go at this word. P. Oh. Mm. Mm. Pong. Your turn. Pong. That's right. Well done. So we've got ping and we've got pong. What does that say together? It says ping pong. That's right. What does it say? Ping pong. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. Okay. So we've learned how to read words with ng. We know now that they go at the end of a word, not at the beginning of a word. So we know that this will always be a lower lowercase letter. So let's have a go at playing the game that we did yesterday with our th or th sound. So I'm going to show you back to my cardboard boxes that I've turned into monsters. And we're going to play our posting game that we played yesterday. So I'll just turn you over. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. We've got our boxes here. Oh no, I can see something that is wrong. Are we doing this sound today? No, we're not. We're not doing this sound today. And we're not doing tricky words today. Miss Chambers needs to change that, don't I? So all you need to do with your boxes that you had yesterday is you can keep the th on and keep the th word cards because then your child can practice that. And simply just write an ng on a different card. And then pop it onto your box. So you know now that that one is an ng. So let's have a look at our monsters again. So we know in this game that this monster only eats words with this sound. What sound does this monster like? That's right, he likes th or th words. What sound does this monster like? That's right, he likes ng words. Brilliant. So, we've got lots of words all over the table. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a word and we're going to see sort which, which monster it's going to be eating it. So, we're going to look if it's got a th or an ng and say which one it's going to eat it. So, let's start with this one. Let's turn this over. Right, your turn first. Have a go. What does this word say? Fantastic. All right, my turn with you. B, O, ng, bong, bong. Well done, everybody. Okay, where will it go? Should I feed it to this monster? No, it doesn't have a th in it, does it? Should I feed it to this monster? Yes, I should. I'm going to watch my fingers because yesterday it was a very naughty monster. Let's just drop it in there. Phew, didn't get me that time. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's do another word about this word here. Okay, your turn first. Ready? Fantastic. Well done. Okay, my turn with you. Ready? Ch, oh, ng, chong. 
Well, remember, that was our sound from last week. Let's try that again. Ch oh, ng, chong. Brilliant. Okay, where will that go? Will it go into this one? Let's try. Oh no, it doesn't like that one. Silly Miss Chambers, there's no th in that word. Let's try it in this one. Does it go in there? Yes, it does. It likes that one because it's an ng word, isn't it? All right, let's try this card. Okay, your turn. Okay, oh, we've got our sound from yesterday. Ready? Thin. 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 So where will that go? Will that go in this one? No, it doesn't have an n. Does it have a th? Let's check. Yes, it does have a th. So we can pop it in that one. Watch our fingers. Oh, nearly bit me then. Okay, let's try a different word. What about... Let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is something Miss Chambers likes to do. Your turn. Okay, my turn with you. S-i-ng. Sing. What's the word, everybody? Sing. So, let's work out. Does it have an ng or does it have a th? That's right. It has an ng, doesn't it? So, let's feed it to the ng monster very carefully. Whoops. There we go. Let's pop that one back on there. Gosh, it was so excited it fell over. Wow. Right, let's have a look at a different one. What about this one? Let's have a look at this one. Your turn. Well done. Okay, my turn. Then. Then. Oh, I know. This one is an ng word because it's got an n there. Yes, I know that one. I don't need any help with this one. I'm going to give this one to this monster. Ready? Oh, oh no, he didn't like that one. Why didn't he like that one? Oh, I see. Because it didn't have a g with it. It only had the n. Does it have this sound? Oh, yes, it does have this sound. Silly Miss Chambers doing it wrong. Okay, got that one. Right, let's have a look at this one. Let's sound this out. Your turn. My turn, ready? Th I -ng. Thing. Th I -ng. Thing. Oh, now hold on a minute. Where will that go? Does it have this sound? Can you see it? Yes, it does, doesn't it? Does it have this sound? Yes, it does, doesn't it? Oh no. So this word has an ng and a th in it. So what could we do with this word? Tell somebody in your family what you think we could do. Because the ng monster will eat it and the th monster will eat it. So what do we do? Yes, I think we could give it to both of them, couldn't we? So we're going to fold it. And I'm going to... Bear with me. Tear it in half. I'm going to tear it in half. There we go. And I'm going to give the th part to this monster. There we go. Nom, nom, nom. And I'm going to give the nk part to this monster. There you go. Nom, nom, nom. Ooh, that one we had to share, didn't we? We had to give them half each. Okay, let's do one more. What about this one? Your turn. Fantastic. Well done, my turn. W, I, ng, wing. 
wing. Okay, where will that go then? Is it going to go in this one? Yes, it is, because it's got a th sound in, hasn't it? Okay, we're ready. We're going to put it in there. It won't go in. Why won't it go in? Oh, can you tell me, Red Base, why won't it go in? Why won't that one go in the th word? Oh, I see, because it doesn't have a th sound. What sound does it have then? Oh, you're right. It has the nk sound, which means it needs to go in this monster, silly Miss Chambers. Oh, let's put that in there. Let's see if it goes in properly. Oh, phew, it did. Oh, good job, Red Base. Fantastic. Well done for sorting those words. So... Now, you can either have a go at playing that game with, a, with some family by just making your own monsters and making your own ng and th cards, or you can go into the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint has some pictures and ng words that you can have a go at reading. You don't need to do both of those. You can just do one or the other. You choose which one you would like to do. Make sure you put some photos on Google Classroom or Tapestry so that I can see what you have been doing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with some ng writing. Okay, have a great day everybody. Bye.